I think back 10 years ago, all I can remember is I was ready to box Mason Tavert. I said, if I catch him on Bannock, we boxing. I'm just, we're going to do it right here, right now. But let me, <laughs> you know, it must have been about 2008, 2009, actually about 2007, 2008. I was still on city council. And this, this wonderful, kind, sweet person who only shares things in a very sweet way named Wanda James. said to me, you better get on this wagon when we're going to legalize marijuana. And I thought Wanda had maybe smoked a little bit more of her product than she should have. I said, no way. You remember the conversation? I said, we're ne it's never going to happen. This will never happen um, in this country, in this state. And, uh, and like Governor Hickenlooper at the time, uh, I was, or Mayor Hickenlooper at the time, then Governor, I was opposed to it. My reasons for being opposed to it stem from very personal stories of watching family members struggle with addiction, having families devastated, it's having children in my family become children less, parentless, excuse me, because of drug addiction. And watching that happen, all I could imagine was we would have a lot of children without their parents, a lot of families devastated because of the legalization of marijuana. I'll tell you that today, after 10 years, uh, well, first let's go back to 2012 when we passed it. The very first meeting I held in my cabinet shortly thereafter was that we were going to do everything we can to responsibly implement what the voters have asked us to do. And I have made only one other, in 12, almost 12 years as mayor, one other visit to a city council committee. And this was one of those visits where I said we will do this responsibly with good regulation, we're going to tax it, and we're going to support our children with the resources and to make sure they're educated about marijuana and the use of marijuana. And then I was amazed, as Hickenlooper was amazed, our senator, as many of the investors and people who would be in the industry would come to the table and they would say, Mayor, I don't use this stuff either. But I recognize the business opportunity that it exists. And by the way, I don't want it to go bad any more than you do. So let us work with you to frame this opportunity for Denver and for Colorado. Today I stand here 11 years, 10 years later, proud to tell you that Denver was the first city in the nation, actually in the world, to implement a responsible regulatory framework for the recreational marijuana. And to do it right. And I remember people say, you can't say the world, Amsterdam. Ha! When we passed marijuana, my team and I went to Amsterdam. And we met with the mayor and the director of safety of Amsterdam. And I'll never forget telling them, they said, why are you here? We said, we want to know about your, regula your regulatory uh, efforts around marijuana, how you legalized it. And they said to us, they said, sir, Mayor, we never legalized marijuana. I said, well, I hate to be the one to tell you, <laughs> but everybody out there smoking weed in your town, and I can walk into a coffee shop and order it off of the menu. They said, yeah, but we never legalized it. And so we got absolutely nothing out of Amsterdam except sell what you grow, because they have a black market they can't track. And so we came back, and that's, that's what we did. We responsibly implemented legalized marijuana. There are some people I want to just give a shout out. One of them is in the room. But I want to thank someone who did something that had no blueprint for what we did in Denver, and that's Ashley Kilroy who was the deputy director of safety at the time, and I pulled her in to run and start marijuana policy office. She led the entire administration. Her right-hand person was Molly, Molly Duplessian, who is now the executive director of excise and licensing. And they helped us, and Molly, thank you for being here, and they helped us frame this issue. We did it well, and you helped us to do that. I'm a convert today. I was wrong 10 years ago. 
You can do this right, you can do it responsibly. And I want to tell you the things that I've done, not to brag, but to tell you I'm the chair of the National Mayor's Committee for Sensible Cannabis Policy. I have testified in Congress it's time for them to legalize marijuana and to bring a sensible policy so the marijuana industry can bank. We have not only done the turnover to new leaf so we can expunge some of these policies, but here's the next generation of this whole industry. Today, even today, there are men and women of color who continue to be dogged by convictions of small or minimum possessions of marijuana, continue to this day, have a hard time getting loans, hard time getting jobs. And I'm proud that our president stood up and said it's time we clean this up. But as an industry, we have to do better than that. We have to go a step further and say billions of dollars are being made in this industry. And as a result of the war on drugs, thousands are still dogged with records. So not only let's sponge them, let's find a way for them to get in this industry and flourish like everyone else has flourished. Let's grow our social policies in MJ. Let's, cre let's invest and use the delivery services so they can get in and be a part of what's happened. That's why we did that. That's why we're working on our equity efforts in Denver while I'm still mayor. And I just ask you to join me. But it's not only people of color. I have sat with women who've been trying to get into this industry. I had lunch with them. They said, why do you only talk to the men in the industry? I said, well, I only talk to people in the industry. I'm trying to, where y'all been? They said, we're here. Thank you. You were there. <laughs> they want to be a part. They want to take a bigger share in this industry. So the next generation is, for the industry is equity. And that's what I'd ask you to join us. And think hard and fast about it, because I do believe that President Biden's going to be successful. There are many members in Congress who are working on it, including our senators who are working hard on this. This is going to happen. But we can't let the floodgates open up without making sure that there's opportunity for everybody who wants to be in this industry. I'm proud to stand with you because I'm proud of what you've done. I'm proud of you doing it responsibly. Let's keep going and let's continue to be the model for the rest of the world. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. <laughs>